Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Philadelphia's Caged and their new release from uh, Roving About the Earth. Translation Lost did the vinyl cassette. Knife Hits, Philadelphia. And what you get here is some devastating death doom metal. Riddled with atmosphere. And just look at that cover art. I need to get this on vinyl because Caged is like the East Coast version of hell. Yep. Like in Sonic Excess, but more death metal. And that's one of the things about Caged I love because I remember seeing caged before they were caged and pointing out to PH uh, John Jones the vocalist at the time he was in this like melodic death metal band that they were opening for Outer Heaven if I remember correctly and I said to Pat I said if that vocalist was in a different band, can you imagine how good they would be? And, like, we both kind of were like, yeah. Like, because the tunes, I, it just wasn't, it just wasn't my, 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 it wasn't my thing. Where this, like, from day one, I was interested in Caged. Like, I heard one of the tracks, and then uh, seeing them live and progress live, getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Like, the debut, I think, did great. Like, I, I love the debut and everything. I did not get it out or the demo or anything like that but like when it comes to philadelphia like doom and gloom is another band i like to throw into this conversation because i feel they're similar yet different enough but philadelphia's moros which is more like sludge where this is more death doom but to me two of philadelphia's finest moros and caged i think both might have members in krieg as well i'm, I'm not sure though i know moros does I'm, I'm like positive jason is also in krieg Jay, I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% though. I'm, I'm sorry if I got that wrong, but... Um, but... I'm an idiot. I just stood up looking for... Oh, the, ca the, the last caged full length. I swore it was right in front of me, but it was uh, Exel. Who also rule, but are not from Philadelphia. But honestly, when it comes to, like, Philadelphia extreme music, Caged is one of the few bands that could open... Well, see, sometimes, let's say Caged opened a hardcore show. And I've witnessed this in real life where some youngins don't really understand what's going on 
And when you go into the doomy parts, they think it's like a breakdown and start like spin kicking. Don't do that. Especially if somebody's caught a sonic nod. Now, the sonic nod is kind of easy to pick out. If you don't know what the sonic nod is, it's when something is just so heavy, you feel the rips throughout your entire body, and you just... And you just catch it. And you, you got the vibe going, like... There's some, like, a band like Ohm, Sleep. Obviously, like, that meditative, like, repetitive, repetitiveness gets into your head, whether you want it to or not. I hate when people say, like, oh, do I need to be high to like this? Come on. Like, seriously? Like, I have plenty of friends that are straight edge, and, like, one of their favorite bands is Electric Wizard, who I have a funny theory about. Electric Wizard do not own motorcycles. That's just a fun little theory. It's like, you know how they have, like, that satanic 70s biker image? My theory, and I heard that, I, I swear... I heard this from somebody that they don't actually own motorcycles. If that's true, I don't know. It's still a cool gimmick. And Electric Wizard has enough mystery around it that they can keep that gimmick alive. But I, I honestly like the 70s satanic biker image. Like when I saw the wizard live, that was, uh, it was like around legalized uh, drugs and murder. Or Time to Die? Oh my goodness. I, I'm trying to remember. Like, it's just that time period of Electric Wizard. Because uh, Satan Sayers opened the show. But, like, I have plenty of friends, like, that are edge, that love, like, sleep, the body sun like you don't need to be like baked out of your mind to enjoy sleep's holy mountain you just have to be a fan of black sabbath in my opinion i mean riff wise like hell yeah but cage like just legit keep getting better and better and better and better, and my name is in the thank you list. Remember when I was on the caged hot sauce? Fuck yeah. That was like legit. And I, I rarely mess with hot sauce. So good. Thank you again for giving me that opportunity. The hottest Schnell hot sauce. If you think that should be remade, Leave a comment below. The caged, hottest Schnell gimmick. It's so good. I really wish we had like a frog mist, like hot sauce gimmick. For the accursed womb, full length. I'm willing to put some, well, I, I, once I get some money, I'm willing to put some money down on some accursed womb hot sauce. Or like, See, like, I don't, we don't drink alcohol. Neither of us do. We're, there's no way we're going to get a strain named after us. I still haven't publicly announced the album's title yet. And that's something, like, legit I'm working hard on. And Brian... Valjo, I am going to get your stuff shipped. Again, stuff's been kind of crazy around here lately. But I should have time coming up to get everything mailed out. I, like, legit apologize. 
And I'll, I'm gonna throw you in an extra... Something extra. And for the November contest, I hope you checked out the new items that I added to it, because it's ridiculous. But from roving about the Earth, it's... Wow. Seriously, I... It's moody, it's doomy, and it's heavy as fuck. I love the vocals, the riffs, the drumming is amazing. Who's on drums here? Uh, Tim Cutler. Amazing job on drums. I really love the bass sound as well. And like the electronics and stuff, like, hell yeah. Everything about this release is, like, gnarly. And, uh, James Plotkin, mixed and mastered. I would love to work with James. Like, honestly, he's one of those, like, dudes on my short list. Like, Ethan Camp, Arthur Risk, Peter at World Famous. Greg Wilkinson at Earhammer. The list goes on and on. I would honestly, I wish it still existed. I would love to record the actual Cursed Womb album in the dungeon with no end, but rest in power. But anyway, the new cage from Roving About the Earth amazing in every possible way sonically cosmetically hell yeah isaac and rope held still under running water the messiah draws near how wings are are attached to the backs of angels a stump in eden The lyrics are, like, really awesome, too. I probably should have, like, mentioned that. Like, very, very good lyrics. And even... I, I love the electronics on here. Like, I cannot get enough of the electronics. Amazing job from Cage. Like, this is such a good follow-up. Like, seriously, it's what I, like, when I go into this, like, because I already know what Cage sound like. I know I'm not going into something that's going to sound like early cyanide. I know I'm getting, like, some kind of atmosphere-driven, heavy tunes with Cage that are probably going to have more in common with a band like Hell than, say... Dirk Hedda. And they do. And that's amazing. And on full display on From Roving About the Earth, Cage bring their death, doom, attack, and it's just top shelf. Especially when you have a guitar solo like this thrown in. I knew I saw it down there. Stricken by Continuance. I couldn't remember the name of it. Transylvania Recordings. So good as well. But a little more straightforward, like Death Doom. Awesome.
you know, in my opinion, some top shelf Death Doom metal. And especially hailing from the hostile city, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love and crime. And we only bombed our own city once, one time. I'll show you around the city and when you can't go after dark and if skating's your thing, I'll show you where you cannot skate at Love Park. Listen to Caged from roving about the earth and get your heavy, heavy death doom riddled goodness on and this goes great with a helping of stricken by continuance listen to them back to back it's a good time but let me know what you think of this bad boy and if you know we should make some frog mist, a cursed womb, where Adabisi lives, hot sauce. I really think we should do some a cursed womb, hot sauce. But let's we'll see what happens. But again, I really um I, I, I just want I want to get this on vinyl for sonic reasons and cosmetic reasons. Like, the cover art alone just puts a smile on my face. It's just, it, it's, it's like perfect. Now, I just, real quick, I want to just scan and see if it says, like, photo by or a cover art. I'm sorry. Artwork and layout by Mark McCoy. Yo, great job. I mean, all this stuff? is it reminds me it, it, like neuro it's very neurosis -y. I, I don't know why that's where my brain went here like shrine builder I, I don't know why like that's where like my mind went was like whoa that looks like something like southern lord like i i don't know and like this But great promo photo as well. Just keeping it grim. And caged. Just to me doing it. Doing it right. And making moods. Making Philadelphia proud out there. Real nice cosmetics on the cassette as well. From Roving About the Earth. If you dig... Heavy doom riddle death metal with some electronics. Boom. Get into it. Thanks again, Cage, for sending this my way. Thank you. And if I didn't like it, I would tell you I love it. Also, Frog Mist will have a official release of all of our ambient material. 80 minutes on cassette tape through fantasy audio magazine single cassette tape 80 minutes of music comes out the 24th of november so by the time you watch this it might already be out just letting you folks know it will be on the fantasy audio magazine band camp First, I'm not sure when we get our copies. No pre-order, but just throwing that out there. And I know Pat has a new Accursed Womb song done, so I think that's two in the bag. But in the meantime, check out Philadelphia's Caged and their new recording from Roving About the Earth. Knife Hits and Translation Lost. Get into it. Translation lost. I always say lost. It's lost. And I'm sorry. Or wait. God damn it. That's going to bother me now. Yep. Translation lost. 
I always used to say lost. Fuck my life, right? Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. Listen to Beharit. Hails. Good.